to work, take one. It's Friday, National Bike to Work Day. So that's what I'm doing. Fifth day in a row, today will put me over 125 miles for the week, commuting to work. So far, so good. I'm out on Stowe Road now, first Main Street. Looking for three feet from these passing cars. Anything more than that, I give them a wave. Anything less than that, I get a little stressed out. So here's some potholes. I always go left to the potholes. A rear view mirror on which really helps me see the traffic coming. Doing about 23 miles an hour. Speed limit's 35. Doing 25 now. Traffic's pretty light. It's 6.50 in the morning. Up to 30 miles an hour now. Truck coming by, getting the wave. Potholes here, stay left. Mazda behind me. Bottles. Pretty good room to pass. It's on these slow blind hills that you gotta watch out for the traffic coming up behind you because they'll be tempted to pass and if they get out in that other lane and there's another car coming they come back and squeeze you so I take the lane a little more aggressively here. Now it's clear back and clear ahead, so I drift back over towards the edge line. All right, Herrick Park, Herrick Road on to 82. Busy road. Clear. It's very foggy and wet this morning, too. I've got two uh, flashing LED lights on my rear. So we're just going on up here to um, Cannon Road, which is the steepest climb I face. It comes about four miles into the commute, and it creates a blind hill hazard. Time for the easiest gear and just relax and haul yourself up it. It's seven o'clock, so it's still pretty quiet. The vibrations, this is uh, the road is grooved for traction in the winter because it's very steep. Standing pedal here. No traffic either way. But this is basically what you think about when you get up in the morning to do your bike commute. Is dragging yourself over this hardest hill. Slowing down. I always look and see what they're doing. Give them a wave. Thank you. A lot of drivers just don't know what to do with a cyclist.
They think they should squeeze by. Some think you should be on the sidewalk, which is illegal. That guy just blew by about 40 miles an hour on a 25. And we made it up the hill, so next we'll see you on Liberty. Turning on to Liberty now. The ride really gets pretty easy from here. Two lane road. People aren't in that much of a hurry. Twenty two miles an hour here on Liberty. Believe it or not, a school bus just cut me off. Oh well. What are you gonna do? It's a great day to be a bike commuter. Here's a fun one, you get to be Tour de France rider. Go through the roundabout. Could have been really fun. Well, just had an uninformed motorist go by and shout bike path at me. Unfortunately, along this part of the ride, there is about one mile of mixed-use trail over here on the right. It's for bikes, it's for walkers, it's for dogs. And most likely it's illegal for me to be on there. It causes you to jump in and out of the traffic lanes. And really, it's a disservice to cyclists in that it causes motorists to think you don't belong there. All right, now we're on a road that has these signs. These signs are a pain in my side because again, it indicates potentially and we made it. About a 40, 43 minute commute. Very foggy and uh, high humidity morning, but a good ride. Okay, that's five days. Keep it up. One of the great things about biking to work at Nestle, underground parking.